Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick Diddy story. Diddy is taking over our timeline right now. Now listen, I'm bringing you this story and why? Because I told y'all this. Because I want everybody to level up on the process and the thinking in this. And I'll say it a thousand times over. This is not about Diva wanting Diddy to get away with said crimes. This is about them lining their ducks in the row so that when they do bring him to trial, it will stick. I told y'all last week when this lawsuit came out with the man that was behind bars and the judge gave him a $100 million default judgment against Diddy that something didn't sound right. How does a man behind bars that has no lawyer serve Diddy papers? How do you do that? People that are not behind bars have trouble serving people papers. You know, there's some people that they're running around for weeks trying to serve people uh, uh, divorce papers, lawsuit papers, because the people are ducking and diving and they can't find them. Remember, uh, what's his name? The guy that did, did Beach, Dr. Dre. Remember his um, estranged wife, now his ex-wife? And people thought she was so cruel. She served on papers that I want to say it was either his grand, I think his grandmother's funeral. And people was like, how could you? Why? Because she knew he was going to be there. And she claimed she was trying to serve him for weeks and couldn't catch up with him. So how does an inmate serve Diddy? How do you get a default judgment on a lawsuit that you don't even know you exist? Let's get into this story. So Diddy just throws out $100 million judgment in battle with Michigan inmate. So Diddy's got a small reason to smile despite being behind bars in federal custody. A judge just set aside the $100 million default judgment in his Michigan SA lawsuit. The battle rapper scored the legal win during a motion hearing Wednesday where his attorney, David Fink, convinced the judge to set aside the massive judgment because the inmate Derek Lee Cardello Smith, who claims Diddy drugged him and S.A.'d him at a 1997 Detroit party, failed to prove he effectively served the lawsuit in accordance with Michigan law. Judge Anna Marie also scrapped the temporary restraining order, stopping Diddy from selling off any assets to cover damages, noting Diddy has a likelihood of winning the case on statute of limitation grounds because Cardello Smith's claims date back to an alleged incident in 1997. With the default judgment set aside, the case will now proceed like any other lawsuit. Diddy's next expected step would be to file a motion to dismiss the case entirely. As reported, Diddy didn't file an answer to Gardella Smith lawsuit, which is why the judgment uh, the judge originally handed the inmate the $100 million judgment he was asking for. So listen, so let me tell you this. I won't go down the conspiracy theory road, but if you think about the timing of everything, it's going to make sense what I'm about to say. When this judgment came down for $100 million, first of all, um, this individual is saying one time, and I'm not I'm not minimizing it. Just work with me. One time, one party, 1997, Diddy violated him. He gets a hundred million dollars. On that note, then Cassie should have got like five hundred million dollars because she endured her situation over a decade. This man gets a hundred million dollar judgment, and in his complaint, he has one party, one situation. He gets a hundred million dollars. Cassie had a decade. We don't know her disclosed amount. I mean, her amount was never disclosed on how much she got. But even if she got a hundred million, if he could get a hundred million for one incident, then Cassie should have got five hundred million. But here was my theory on this, and I told you the other day. They, they, they're, they're calling everyone. When I say they, the feds, right? To figure out. How do we get public enemy number one? And that is Diddy. So they're doing all of these shenanigans because what that when that judgment came down, it had a freeze on his homes and all his access because what the judge also did was is she said that he had to start paying $10 million a month starting October. So when he first offered up Star Island, 
for um, the get out of jail Diddy, they said, well, you can't offer that up. You can't use that because that is frozen because of this hundred million um, dollar case. And now what happens? We're seeing that this was thrown out. Stay connected with me, guys. Uh, I'm, we're, we're going deeper into this. We're pushing out the sensationalism because it's noise. It's the noise that they want us to get involved with so we don't think deeper about this thing. And again, because somebody put in my comments, oh, miss me with that diva. You, you want him to get free. I mean, that is just so dumb, stupid in both. I'm a whole female. I have nieces. I have a mother. I have sisters. I have cousins. Why would I want to violate on the street? But what, what, what people are not understanding is he's not the only one that needs to be taken off the street. But back to the thing at hand here, this $100 million default judgment was thrown out. And so now the ball starts rolling again. So now his money, his house is freed up to be put up for the bail that he is in court currently, him and his, his lawyers begging to get him out right now. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If I'm not a, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, people, and I'll see you on the next video. Let me know your thoughts.